I don't like it, but it's that or nothing. Yeah. Dude, everyone's in stringers. Everyone's Bro. skin is leathery brown. Yeah, you got some meat right there. You got some like 22s in there. Yeah, I'm yeah. slapping yeah, that yeah. meat a little yeah, yeah. bit. This, though. Trade your home gym for a gym home. We happen to open a new gym in oh, Sacramento. So maybe they Did should you know come that? here and make a Did gym. Did you know home. that? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Gossip, Gossip Boys Topic Thunder. Topic Thunder. I love that. Rolls we right are, off the tongue. We That's are the good. Gossip Boys. That is Topic. This is Topic Thunder. Welcome, Dean Sidoris of Caffeine and Kilos, the legendary Jim McD, 3SB.co, and <laughs> Kevlar Kai. That's stuck, dude. It's Kev- so good. So his gaming name Kev- is actually... Kai. We call him Kai. Oh. Just because it's, it's kind of cute. It's morphed. It's evolved. Yeah, it's kind of cute. evolved, and it's his, done it all. His name is Kyle. His gamer name is Kale, and we call him Kai. <laughs> Kai. Just because it's cute. Kevlar Kai. Yeah. Also, I get fifty percent of all merch. From all there. right, I'll yeah. Say- <laughs> <laughs> uh, we just wiggle that in there. Fitness has changed over the years, but especially around COVID, I feel like fitness has evolved. And as we all know, the price gouging went ape shit, and most people just started to buy weights to sell them again on Craigslist. But there's also many a folk that built a home gym. Mm. I think we're the only home gym guy as right now. Yes. Is you? Yeah, I'm also out in the you know far away from any gym. Yeah, it makes sense. So it's obviously, there's sometimes there's a necessity to have a home gym, but it was also just um, a necessity during COVID. What are the pros? Do you like home gyms? Do you like a home gym? I've basically owned my own gym, which was a home gym in 2009 um, that I trained people out of, and I trained by myself. But what do we think about home gyms? I'm actually the more I get older, the more I'm against them. Uh, yeah, I'll go. I yeah. um, honestly don't prefer them whatsoever, 100%. Yes, I have one, of course, but like, because you just said that, but like, I uh, I don't like it, but it's that or nothing. You got a kid. I got a kid. You live in the middle of nowhere. I live pretty far. Um, the gym option that is close to me down the road is literally like a glorified hotel gym. I'm talking like yeah. elliptical mm. Maybe a pull down bar yeah. mm. and like some fourteen pound dumbbells. You know what I'm saying? Your like, wife like trains, trains like she's a lifter. Yeah, like yeah. She's, she she doesn't. She, she likes to go heavy. She's not a cardio bunny. No, yeah. Well, yeah, we kind of we kind of turned into that because it's like, how can I get the most bang for my buck? I'm just saying but, that she yeah, knows yeah. how to lift. Like yeah, yeah, for yeah. sure, her for idea sure. her idea of fitness isn't Pilates. No, no, for no, no, half no. no. She's like lifts. Yeah. She trains. Yeah. she trains. She's in the game. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah, my bad. Um, but yeah, I'm trying, no, to give, I, I'm trying to show her some love, and you're yeah. beating her back down. Nah, like yeah, she likes to run a lot. <laughs> she doesn't know shit, dude. <laughs> fuck her, fuck her. Um, so yeah, I think that being in a gym, being around other people in a gym, is important to training. As yep. far as like even just like honestly being around people, being motivated from your friends or from strangers, and just like having conversations with new people. Yeah, and also just like it when you're in the gym and it's in your house, it's like a lot easier to just lay off. When you're at a gym in an environment, like, I'm here to do some work. I'm here to get in and get out and, like, work hard. That's part it's real easy to fuck that off at a home gym. That's part of the issue of uh, owning a gym is you don't get in that same mindset. My favorite thing of going to the gym used to be the mindset where I'd have, like, a routine. I'd eat lunch at 11. Then at noon, I'm taking my caffeine. And then and then I'm listening to music for half an hour to get to the gym. And then it's go it's time. It's good. It's all set up. It it's is. Good. And routine is everything. But now you, you own a gym and you work in a gym. You don't get that routine because mm-hmm. I'm here for three hours, four hours. Then I got to train. Then I don't got to train. Then I – well, yeah. Basically, it turns into basically a home gym. It, it, yeah, without or a worse. bed. Or without even, a bed. Yeah. yeah. Uh, me and Jim over the years have talked to many lifters, and I actually have changed my opinion. Jim, maybe yours has it, but I used to talk a lot about um, lifters being able to be at the highest level regardless of whether they train alone or not. Because mm. back in the day, there wasn't powerlifting gyms, so most people did kind of train in their garage or totally by themselves or with like two guys. But now. Every guy I know that's absolutely dominating the sport, pure powerlifting, or even strongman, they have a crew around them. Yeah. They should have a study for that or something. Yeah, That'd be good. by, How by many now home they home gym guys are uh, elite are breaking elite. records and shit. Dan, besides the online competitions, yeah, even that. Dan Green used to be one that we'd point out to, or Mike Tashir or whatever. Mike Tashir, I think, is pure necessity, and he's a different animal in his brain. Dan Green, I think, was only before he opened his gym, and now he has a bunch of people around him. You know, yeah. like yeah. there's not a lot of people. Bryce Lewis. Trains with a bunch of people, Jamal Browner, a bunch of people, yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 Bilbo Swaggins, John Hacks, training with a bunch of people. Like, Bilbo. everyone's around people. Bilbo Swaggins. That's yeah, the Instagram, best dude. You're welcome all, for the shout-out, dude. Of all time. <laughs> we, we, and we could even pivot towards, like, just from a cultural standpoint, too. Yeah. Like, I grew up – I mean, I, I think Mike did, too. Like, my dad was a gym rat. Like, that's all he did. Like, he played – 
football for UNLV. He's a big old DN guy. I remember just going in there and be like, all right, you're going to be up there for like fucking three hours. Have fun. And yeah. I'm just like, and I'll just look out the window and I see all these macho, huge dudes like Chris Dim. Like he's one of, he was friends with yeah. him and stuff like that. Like just bodybuilders, just not really powerlifters as much. Obviously it's like kind of a, it was all kind newer. of the same then. Yeah. Yeah. They yeah. didn't it's necessarily like, just compete. lift heavy. Go, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. My first strength and conditioning coach for the world, uh, in eighth grade, really good guy, trained with a bunch of football players. I shout him out all the time. Was best friends with Kyle's dad, mm -hmm. which I didn't know. And so the gym that Small I world. yeah the gym yeah. I grew up in was where Kyle's dad also trained. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. and it's it's That's funny. It's yeah. as close to Gold's Gym Venice as you could get in. It North really Cal. was. It dude. was nuts, yeah. dude. Everyone's That's in tight. stringers. Everyone's Bro. skin is leathery brown. Yeah, it's, yeah, everyone's yeah, yeah. jacked. Every single person in there was jacked out of their Huge, minds. Huge, dude. It Huge. looked like I hopped into fucking pumping iron. Yeah. It's it was tight. insane. It's really cool. Yeah, it was yeah. insane. It was, it was, my, my coach, yeah. I think, was the only one. I, I didn't remember your dad because I was younger mm -hmm. and obviously didn't know him, but my coach was the only dude who wore a hoodie all the time. It'd be 100 degrees out. And so I never knew, but sometimes I'd fuck with him, you know, and be like, oh. You're you like, know, oh, shit, I'm getting some meat right there. got some 22s in there. Yeah, I'm slapping that meat a little bit. When, when I started yeah. F with them, then you're like, oh man. Yeah, yeah. I I think the yeah the home gym culture. I mean, I mean, it's not really a culture, but I mean, okay. I think they it did really, it out. Of, it kind of is. I think it's turning into that a little bit. Yeah. I'm starting to see it. It's almost becoming like a uh, like a kind of CrossFit mentality. Almost like, oh, I have a home gym too. You have a home gym. Oh, how is it like? Yeah. I don't, I don't know how the conversation. I think go, COVID. Like, even yeah. our buddy Brandon Campbell it popped off. His video started to pop off. There's some people that do equipment reviews on YouTube start to pop yeah. off during COVID. Yeah. But Brandon, I, obviously, I don't want to speak for him. He's a longtime friend, but his seems out of necessity too. He's yeah, got a hey, couple I kids. Think, I think his issue is totally yeah. necessity, and he kind of lives in what Rhode Island. Rhode Island? Yeah. yeah, yeah. You got kids. You got a wife. The older you get, but I, but I even think that's more of an argument to try to get out when you can. Yeah, like yeah. you said, the culture, the community, be a yeah. friend to somebody. Yeah. It would probably be easy to get sucked in and just stay there. You know, yeah, yeah, I would yeah, never yeah. leave my house. If yeah. someone had, if there was a, uh, if there was like a, a gym in my neighborhood like at like the clubhouse or yeah, whatever yeah. like i would go to that for 100 yeah, yeah. I would do it, it could be kind of shit and you'd still go i would probably, probably still go yeah, yeah, yeah it would yeah, be fine because yeah. you, you see your friends it's, there you yeah. see the people there i would 100 and not even mm -hmm. a mess with the home gym yeah. but it's like like the 30 minute commute to like the nearest gym that's just not an option because like, then it turns an hour workout into two or three well, and i like mm -hmm. and i got literally like 25 to 30 minutes to work out normally yeah. anyways so it's like that, actually, excuse me, let me rephrase that, that I want to dedicate to working out sure, because, yeah, like, yeah. honestly, I'd rather spend that time hanging out with my son yeah. and, like, mm -hmm. just working out when I can. You know what I mean? It's not, like, a huge priority in this point in my life. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. I do notice that the CrossFit scene really blew up in the home gym work. It's always been big. Yeah. But, like, post-COVID, like, during COVID, like, uh -huh. the CrossFit people, a lot of people stayed home with the gyms and never really went back. But also, like, a big percentage went back, but also they didn't. Um, I because I would I almost think the opposite of my head looking at it. You know what I mean? Because their 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 whole thing is community, and that's what CrossFit has done so well over the years. And and their exercise stuff is so varied. Yeah. Like if you're at home, you get a barbell and a, a, a jump rope, and then all of a sudden you got wall balls. Well, you gonna go buy a medicine ball tomorrow, and then all of a sudden you yeah. got you know this yeah. and that, and like all right, well I gotta go get this. I gotta get a baseball because I gotta toss it down the road. The, the I thing. saw this YouTube video. This guy's doing this. Yeah, I gotta yeah. buy this. Yeah, shit. and then all yeah, of a sudden yeah, you need this. Yeah, then yeah. you need a kettlebell. Then you need a CrossFit's done something so they're more basic than a commercial gym, but they're way more complicated than strength training. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I basically do glorified CrossFit without much barbell workouts. Yeah, like I do like F45. I still do a lot of strength stuff, like squatting and like strict pull ups, and like I have like a rack and stuff. So I'm still getting in like the strength work. And I can do deadlifts and yeah. stuff like that. But as far as like the Olympic lifts, I've kind of like removed that from the CrossFit uh, side of my yeah. training and just doing like make sure I'm working on strength and some kind of metabolic yeah. conditioner or just body body bro out for the day. Like, that's what uh, how I'm feeling. It's Orange, high maintenance. Orange Theory and F45 did, and that's why they're arguably making more money yeah, than CrossFit now. They're killing, yeah. dude. My yeah. feeling is this, though. Trade your home gym for a gym home. Go someplace where you feel comfortable. Mm -hmm. Break your routine, like Mike was saying. Yeah. I had When I had little kids, I had home gym stuff and mm -hmm. i only worked out after they went to bed mm -hmm. and and that's when i had time for it because mm -hmm. i was working full sounds like don't have get, kids is really what well, i'm gathering from the show <laughs> it's hard it's really hard it my, it yeah yeah my neighbor across the street you know he's a former crossfit you know guy um he's an attorney his wife's an attorney they have three kids and he works out in his garage because that's really what he gets time for you know i totally understand that but 
I think that what I miss most about the the old days was, you know, when you were lifting multiply, you had to have people around you. You just couldn't do it. Yeah. You couldn't yeah. get into your shit. You couldn't get out of it. Huh. You certainly force people spotters. to wear suits again. <laughs> I'm not saying that necessarily, but like the whole idea it of having a crew, a team. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, it yeah, yeah. forced a team. Yeah. And and really, I th- I thought that's what made the videos that I did back then is the fact that you're yeah. watching a whole team together. And uh, yeah, we're, so, we're all lifting. Kind of went the other way. Yeah. Like I got my sleeves. I don't really need a spotter because I'm working on RPE eight. Yeah. Yeah. Like I don't. Really People yeah. love seeing people in groups, man. I think I so like, too. There, there is community and team has been a thing, and it will always yeah. be a thing. Tribes have been yeah. a thing, will always be a thing. Because like you put your team like that, you know what I mean? You see, yeah. you see Mike, Jim, and some other guys. You're like, bro, okay, I got my boy here. I got my boy here. They're gonna grab my. Oh, this is sick. It's like me and it's like me and my boys. Or, you know? or, or yeah, like you know how much you needed help or how mm-hmm. much it helped you, so you're more willing to help the other people. Like it would be yeah. great if everyone was selfless and just wanted to spot and load and help. But until you need help, sometimes humans won't be as nice. And help others. You know yeah, what I mean? For That's sure. absolutely true. If I've yeah. had a flat tire and I couldn't do that thing and then I figured out how to do it, I'm way more likely to help someone else's flat tire. Well, I have to tell you, too, that if you were somebody who went, who came in expecting to get help and you hadn't helped other people. Yeah. The uh, So back to real quick, yeah. uh, there is that balance, too, right? Where like my, you were like talking about Kelsey and what she does is like two, three days at home during the week. Saturdays, that's her day. She goes down to the yeah. gym, she makes that drive. It. And make sure that she gets in that group environment yeah. at least once a week. Yeah, and that's I think uh, she probably loves Saturdays. Then oh, it's like yeah, yeah it's of so course. Different. Like she's around her friends. They're training like for two hours, yeah. like hardcore with the group, and it's like yeah. So there is that. She's done a better job at like still involving that. Yeah, that, but she knows how important yeah. that is because like she works out. That's probably in that two hours because that's all she could probably do and still be in good shape because of how hard they work together in the gym i also wonder if we're just spoiled being in california you know about like nebraska's yeah. garage gym scenes a little different yeah when it's like minus 40 and you're yeah. trying to because like, then you're building yeah, a room squad yeah, they probably what? like they yeah. probably like built a room yeah. i don't know that's true tom callis i mean that's a garage right i mean yeah that's true yeah that guy's callis, out of his mind callis, though. callis <laughs> yeah he's one of those like one percenters with that yeah he is. and like in ian wilson right like, you know back to jim's point about going to a gym unrelated completely we happen to open a new gym in oh, Sacramento. So maybe they Did should you know come that? here and make a Did gym. Did you know bar. that? Uh, no, never heard of it. What's it, it called? Third Street Barbell. See you guys there. <laughs>